Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Family, some of us are worried about enemies that have no power to attack you or even if they do attack because we cannot stop them from trying. Amen. They have no power to defeat you. And you don't understand that it is a biblical thing. It's, it's a discipline in scripture that we have seen being consistent under God. Some of us are afraid of enemies who do not have the power to do what they want to do to us. They'll blow their threats. They'll say anything they want to say. And they'll make you feel intimidated if you're not careful. But understand this, God is too wise. Your God is too wise. God has not given your enemies the power to do what they would want to do with you. Tell two people, my enemies don't have the power to do it. What is it that they want? They want you to get fired. They want you to be turned down. They want you to be denied. Begin to rejoice. Tell yourself, my God is too wise. And he has not given my enemies the power to destroy me. He has not given my enemies the power to be victorious over me. He has not given me, hallelujah, or my enemies, glory to God. The power to do as they like to me. So of course they can wish. Of course they can make all their plans. But the Bible says many are the plans in a man's heart. But only the plans of God will prevail. Let's read the scripture a little bit. Numbers 14. Numbers 14. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that night all the members of the community raised their voices and wept aloud. All the Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron and the whole assembly said to them, if only we had died in Egypt or in this wilderness. Why is the Lord bringing us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Our wives and children will be taken as plunder. Wouldn't it be better for us to go back to Egypt? And they said to each other, we should choose a leader and go back to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell face down in front of the whole Israelite assembly gathered together. Joshua son of Nun and Caleb son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes and said to the entire Israelite assembly, listen to this, the land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey and will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord and do not be afraid of the people of the land because we will devour them. Their protection is gone, but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. Hallelujah. Are you ready for prayer family? Are you ready? As you join, just hit that like button if you're watching on YouTube so that our friends may know that we are live. If you're watching on Facebook, you got to do the same. Like and share on TikTok. We're getting into the meat of the matter. Glory to God. Are you ready for prayer? Are you ready? You don't look like you're ready. You don't sound like you're ready. Are you? Who has told you that the thing that you have in your midst is not good? Who told you that? From whose perspective is the thing deemed or concluded as being not good? 
To whom are you listening? Was it really the person who was speaking? Or was it the devil himself who had entered that person and has sought to use a spirit of discouragement to discourage you from what God has given to you? The Israelites were told all kinds of things. In fact, this was a part of the strategy of the enemy to terrify them before they could get a hold of what was rightfully theirs. By discouraging their hearts, they were supposed to faint and disappear. And sure enough, that's what the enemy would want to do to some of God's children today. But I came here with this very sharp word tonight to encourage you. Hallelujah. To not be faint hearted. Do not turn back. What God has given to you is good in his sight. And that's all that really matters. Too often we're listening to what people say, what they think, their opinion. The wisdom of man is foolishness unto God. If any man thinks that he's wise, let him go unto God and seek for wisdom. For his ways are above our ways and his thoughts far above ours. When God says something is good, it is good. And when he speaks, his word is yea and amen. The Lord puts it this way. He says, if the fathers of, of those in the world can give unto their children the best, what say your heavenly father in heaven? Will he not give you the best? Shall you ask of him for fish and he gives you a serpent? Shall you ask of him for bread and he gives you stone? Absolutely not. If he's concerned about the sparrow when it falls, how much more will he be concerned about you? He wants to give you the best things. Not just good things, but the best things. So if it's God who promised it to you, hallelujah, it is good. In spite of what it looks like or appears to be right now, there is something hidden in it. There's a treasure in it. And that's why you can't see it just now for what it really is. I was reading an article the other day and it was saying the precious things in life are usually covered. Just like a diamond that you have to dig way down into the earth to, to get. Pearls way down into the sea. Hallelujah. So just perhaps you're looking at the covering of the thing. But if you would just give it some more time, you'll realize that there is something very precious underneath it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says tribulation worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope and hope maketh not ashamed. Tell two people I will not be ashamed. Now here's the good news that I have for you in addition to that tonight. Can we read verse 9 together? Numbers 14 verse 9. Hallelujah. Let's do that. It says. Only do not rebel against the Lord. Hallelujah. And do not be afraid of the people of the land. Because we will devour them. Their protection is gone. Hallelujah. Can we do that again? Their protection is gone. Somebody needs to get that. The enemy's protection is gone. Hallelujah. You're being afraid of some people who have no power to do what they're threatening to do to you. Shakayaya. Because God is too wise. He never gave them that power. To defeat who? His child? To defeat who? His daughter? His son? His obedient servant? Hallelujah. Someone who has found themselves in a place of koinonia with him. Hallelujah. Tell two people. The protection of your enemy has already departed. All you're hearing is just noise. Katarada kata rakosheketa mama sa yukuturia kata le kanama Lorraine. Hallelujah! Right where you are, I'm here to say to you, woman, glory to the living God. That what you're hearing 
is noise. What you are hearing, I said, is noise. I said, God has not left you at the mercy of your enemies. Get up, Rabo, Sekete, arise, Randai, Shekaya, arise, Lekata, Nana, Zabrusha, Pokoto, Reprana, Nakata. The enemy's protection is already departed. All you're hearing is just noise. 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 They cannot back what they're saying. Noise. 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 Don't be afraid of them powder. Do not be afraid of their sprinklings. Do not be afraid of their sayings. Do not be afraid of their murmurings. Do not be afraid of their gossipings. Do not be afraid of their threats. Do not be afraid because understand this, the protection that they themselves have wanted, hallelujah, in order to carry out their evil assignment against you. God as a consuming fire has already gone before you and has melted like wax everything that is exalting itself in your life and in his presence right now. So the enemy's protection is not there. It's not there. It's not there. He can only think it, but he cannot perform it. Tell two people he can think it, but he cannot perform it. They have no protection. We're talking about the spiritual entities right now. If we're saying they have no protection, understand this in the spirit. That we're talking about the fact that they have no shield to defend themselves right now against you. They have no helmet in the spirit to protect themselves against the arrows of the Lord. That are about to be launched against them. Hallelujah. Violently in the spirit. I'm telling you, they have nothing at their sides. Their swords are weak. Why? Because Adonai, before time, he had already seen this and he has already visited your future and has dealt with the enemies of this time in your life. Rabbi Shatta, you are living in God's past right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever is standing in your way, whatever giants there are, whatever entities there are, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we say unto our Lord, Jehovah Sabaoth, we summon your angels right now. We summon your host right now. Begin to release, Father, your angels on our behalf. Lord, let your arrows of steel begin to go forth now against our enemies. Lord, release javelins that are sharp at the edges right now against our enemies. In the name of Jesus, let our enemies, hallelujah, begin to hear strange sounds in the spirit. Begin to thunder in the camps of our enemies, Lord. Begin to rain down hailstones, hallelujah, in the camp of our enemies right now, Lord. Begin to command, hallelujah, your horsemen, your footmen, hallelujah, to show up at the gates of our enemies. Let the army of the Lord begin to break through them gates, hallelujah. Let the army of the Lord begin to pull down them barriers of the enemy right now. In the name of Jesus, my sister, do not be afraid to command. My brother, do not be afraid to pray. I'm here to give you the gospel. And the gospel tonight is the protection of your enemies is already gone. So anything that is coming out of their mouths right now is mere wind. Is mere wind. It's just words. Wind. They cannot back up what they're saying. Because God did not give them the power. Shalala. Dadushkata. Ratasata. Nanakutu. Rakesheketata. Labushakata. Yamasata. Radikata. Yadekoto. God did not give them the enemy. He did not. 
Give them the power to do what they desire in their hearts to do against you. So soldiers, 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 are you there? Rababa Sata. Do my shake it. Do they have something in their midst that belongs to you? Because if it means you going in there and taking it back by force, understand that there is this confidence with which you are going. And it is that the protection, that evil power that they usually use to carry out their antics is not much shatter, is weak right now. It has been abated by the power of the living God. It is in total surrender and submission to the power of Adonai in the spirit. You don't understand. Them entities, when you begin to pray and when you begin to transfigure in the realm of prayer, hallelujah, them demons that are facing you, when they come into the presence of the Lord, it's either they're going to flee or they're going to bow. So the enemy is busy either bowing or fleeing. So you have every right and the advantage to take from Satan whatever he has stolen or taken from you. Ranana kuturiya baha reke shata yeda laba sataya rakana laboshe in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been boxed up at an altar, shata kata yitaya. Whatever is in the hands of a witch or a wizard, latamanti kataya. Whatever is under someone's feet, rekata shata yaboka. Whatever is planted in someone's purse or in someone's closet, lekata mashekaya. Whatever is in a pocket somewhere, rekada baha. Whatever is spreading out over my vehicle, sheta kasataya. Whatever birds or lizards visit by morning, whatever snakes or serpents visit by night, la shaya makete basika, naturusha katara babosata, rabana na katari aboshake. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the sword of the Lord begin to chase our enemies right now let the arrows of the lord hallelujah begin to be launched into the heads and necks of our enemies right now in the name of jesus let the sword of the lord begin to cut asunder everything that crawls on its belly that is rising up against me my family my purpose my ministry in the name of jesus let there be a dissect now of snakes and scorpions, cobras, rabaka, nana kataya, labusata, nana kutu kutu kata, yikata bashaya. We cut up and we cut down in the name of Jesus. We cut up and we cut down. In the name of Jesus, and that tight fist that you have, that tight palm that you have with my stuff in it, as long as it has anything to do with me, it's my stuff. Even if it's a piece of paper with my name, it's my stuff. Whatever you have inscribed, whatever the writings are, whatever the jottings are, whatever the symbols are, whatever the representations are, in the name of Jesus, we pierce through them fingers. We find our way into the palm and we take by force everything you have in your midst that belongs to me. I pull it out right now. I pull it out. I pop it out now in the name of Jesus. Their protection is gone. Their protection is gone has been gone a long time ago but because 
You don't know your God. You serve a God that you don't even know. You serve a God in whom you have absolutely no confidence. Because if you know him, the thing you profess yourself, the way you, you profess yourself to know him, then you would know. He's not a reactive God. He's very proactive. Very assertive. Too wise. Wise. Wiser than your enemies. Allah the Bible says that he, he sees all things. The eyes of the Lord, they move to and fro upon the earth, watching the evil and the good, so he might show himself strong and mighty to all those who truly love him. My Bible tells me as well that as it pertains to those who seek him in the morning they shall inherit substance and their treasure shall be filled oh and my bible tells me he is a present help in times of trouble my bible tells me that because he calls you by name you are his my bible tells me that there is an everlasting covenant between the child of the living god i'm not talking about the on and off seasonal child but the child of God right through the day 24 hours a day 7 days a week 12 months of the year child of the living God he says when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the floods they will not sweep over you when you walk through the fire you shall not be burned and the flames shall not be kindled upon you hear ye the word of the Lord the enemy is like bread for you their defense has departed their protection has fleed from them their protection mechanism has become an enemy to them Ma -da -da -da. their shields are fighting against them their own swords are piercing their own hearts their helmets are slipping off right now. Slimy pits are beginning to appear in front of them in the spirit. Slippery pits or ditches and precipices are ahead of your enemies. Begin to see them wandering. Begin to see them scattering. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Right now, eh, shayaya, shi ya ya ya, yika ya ya ya. Right now, yakata ya 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 sha. Right now, yika ya ya kosoto. Right now, shabakutu yuku. Right now, yika ya ya kosoto. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Begin to get up. I said begin to get up. Begin to get up. And confront. The enemy. That has been making you afraid. Begin to get up. And confront that demon. That has been intimidating you. Get up. Break your silence. Break your silence. Stop nursing that wound. Get up! Get up! Shayakata! Makusekatata! Get up! Shayaketeketa! Right now. Mm. Latabado do shata. Get up. Get up now. Get up now. Begin to speak. Take out of his hands what he has for you. Take it out right now. Right now. I'm not hearing you, Peter Gay. I'm not hearing you, Eileen. I'm not hearing you, Sashane. 
I'm not hearing you. Right now. Take it back. With this confidence. That whatsoever you ask of him. Hallelujah. According to his will. He will hear you concerning that matter. And if he hears you. If he hears you. If he hears you. Hallelujah. Then you know. That that petition. Has been granted. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Hakata, Jesus, Hekete, Jesus, Lama, mm. Jesus, Hallelujah, 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 take it back. Don't be quiet, don't be silent. Take it back. Whatever he has in his hands that do not belong to him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, I was just thinking about this person. Hallelujah. Sister Georgia, I was just thinking about you. I was just thinking about you. Let me give you a quick call. Sister Georgia, I was just thinking about you. Let me call you. Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't want it like that. Sister Georgia. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Sister Georgia. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Be strengthened by this word, my sister. Be strengthened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Can you get up right now? Can you get up? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can I put you on speaker? Hallelujah. Just, just get up, my sister. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. We thank you even now. Hallelujah, that her enemies are being stripped of every power that they thought they had. Right now, right now, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, we thank you that your angels, hallelujah, have descended. There is a sudden of the host of Jehovah Sabaoth Ami Kanaman Yata Yere. We are to Shaye Bebe Kata and every Manakasika, every enemy of the end, Lakusha Tayarabo Seka, Leka Tayabo, every enemy Shama Masata Yaya of that old serpent, that ancient serpent, in the name of Jesus, we bind them right now. We arrest them right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever device that is causing any kind of affliction, whatever the symptoms are, in the name of Jesus, we smash them into pieces. We break them into pieces. We dismantle them right now in the name of Jesus. Rababa satana nana kuturi aba sheketa. Yodurubu kuturi aba sha. Rumu suturi aba sheketa. Yomurabo kasata. 
the fire of God. The consuming fire of God be upon every device of the enemy right now. In the name of Jesus, we bind and suspend the activities of every supervising demon. Hallelujah. Whatever is fighting against you from above and from beneath. We are your Soto Ramos Habo Keralabo Sataya. The Lord of hosts begin to thunder against those things right now. The Lord of hosts, Rekatayaba, begin to contend with those things right now on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I thank you that even the weight of affliction is being lifted even now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, yes, that heaviness, hallelujah, is being lifted right now. Hallelujah, I thank you, hallelujah. That every symptom that comes with Satan's attack is disappearing right now in the name of Jesus. So Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Jesus. Jesus. The Bible says there's power in his name. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the victory in this matter. In Jesus' mighty, precious, extraordinary name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Take out of his hands what rightfully belongs to you. Take it, old time hand. Pull it out of his hands. Snatch it out of his hands. The devil is a liar. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, let's say that together on the count of three, two, three. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That was warm up. Come again after three, one, two, three. Satan, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No, somebody, they, they didn't get it. They said, hold on, I'm coming out of the restroom, so we're waiting. Ah, in 30 seconds, glory. Glory to God. Together we're saying unto the adversary, Satan, we rebuke you. Hallelujah. On the count of three. One, two, three. Satan, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be still and know that Jehovah is God. Hold your peace. God is God. Sit and be quiet. Because God is God. Be still. Be still. Be still and no. 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 That Jehovah is God. Hallelujah. I feel like someone got their victory tonight. Put a praise on it. Put a praise on it. I feel like someone has gotten their victory tonight. Put a praise on it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone got it. I feel it so strongly in my spirit. I feel it so strongly. Let me see those of you who are actually feeling lighter. So you know, you know. I know something is happening. I'm not asking you. I know. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Praise his name. Magnify him. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We have no special time to pray. Devil, you cannot calculate us, predict us, explain us. We don't have any special time to pray. 
We are the remnants of the living God. You cannot time us. You cannot predict us. And you will form the weapon. But I'm here to tell you, it will never, never, cannot, will not, shall not prosper against the true children of the living God. It not happen. Can't happen. Will never happen. Because this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Their righteousness comes from Him. Hallelujah. Family, I'm leaving you in an atmosphere of prayer right now. Maintain it. Just about any breakthrough that you need can occur right now in this atmosphere that has been created in your midst. If you would just continue. Hallelujah. In the meantime, I got to shout it on a trumpet in the spirit. I'll see you for 1030 service in Queens, New York on Sunday morning, September 10. I'll see you for Sunday morning worship at 1030 a.m. in Queens, New York. Tell two people, you got to be in Queens on Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. for a divine encounter with the Lord. Hallelujah. Service will be held in the Marilock Hall at St. John's University, Queens, New York, this Sunday and every Sunday afterward. Tomorrow is going to be our first Sunday. Again, in the Marilock Hall in Queens, New York, 8000 Utopia Parkway, Queens, New York, 11439. Marilock Hall, St. John's University, 8000 Utopia Parkway, Queens, New York. Have a good night. Remain prayerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.